What is the biggest mistake entrepreneurs make when they're trying to grow and scale their business? Mm. Man, that's a tough one. You I see, think, we, we yeah. change our yeah, answers sure. the we more do. we, we do. know. We do, yeah. <laughs> so I think, I think that we over, like Dan Henry taught me this. Okay. And he said that, Josh, success is simple. There was a guy one time who, back in the early internet days, okay, okay. he made a million dollars. You know how he made a million dollars? In one day. In, no, he just made a million dollars. You know how he made a million dollars? No idea. He yes. sold pixels oh, okay. on the internet for one dollar a pixel. Wow. Yeah, that's it. And you're like, what the frick? What's a pixel? Yeah. Like, this. And it's like, it didn't matter, right? Because like people needed to do online advertising and he knew that the pixels were the way to do that, wow. right? And so he just sold a million pixels for a dollar a piece and he made a million dollars. And the, the premise behind that is like, success is simple. Right. Hmm. And so we, I think we overcomplicate everything that's going on. Right. And so for me, like when I look at whatever success, right. business or whatever, there's three parts. There's my offer, there's the sales process and there's the traffic. Right. And I think that most entrepreneurs roughly have an idea of what their offer is. Sure. Maybe they're good at sales processes. Right. But it's like, if you don't know who your customer is, then you're never going to be able to have anybody to sell to. If you know who your customer is, but you don't know how to sell to them. Right. right? Like then you're never going to sell. If you right. know how to sell to them and who they are, but you don't have an offer. Right. Then right. you're never going to, you're never going to, you know what I mean? You're never this. So it's like, just figure out those three things. Don't overcomplicate it and you'll make way more money. What is one breakthrough you had in the last 12 months since we did oh, our last one? hundred percent. Um, so <laughs> I paid Dan Henry, I bought Dan Henry's hundred thousand dollar offer, spent two okay. days with him in person to go over my stuff. Um, I recognize that for me, 80% of all of my revenue in the last like 18 months has come from a talk show. Wow. My, my show where I interview people. Yep. Um, and so the biggest breakthrough I had was the, if the number one problem that I know that I hear all the time that entrepreneurs have is that they don't have the right leads, they don't have the right traffic, right? Like they don't know how to get in front of their sure. customer, period, end of story. And it's like, when you actually understand a talk show and you understand that it lines up with the psychology of how your people buy, you will never run out of leads ever again, right? That was the biggest breakthrough I've, I've had by far. Let's do that again slower. I don't think everybody caught that. Okay. Because that was a, a $100,000 breakthrough. Yeah, Let's yeah, just for, If not more, yeah. it's whatever revenue you made. Yeah, so, when you actually sit down and like study what's working and what's not, you, sure. have, you have some interesting discoveries, right? And sure. this is what Dan helped me do. Right. He was like, Analytics. Just look at what actually worked, Josh, right? right? And so when I actually looked at what worked, I realized that over an 18 month period, without any ads, without any form of like no funnels, no complicated marketing, whatever, I didn't like made over $1.2 million. Sure. Right? That's crazy. That's insane, right? right? That's insane. But it's like, what, what did that? It was a talk show. Why though? Is that a podcast? Yeah, like a podcast. Okay. Po it's an like interview style sure. right, podcast. Because some people yeah. have podcasts and they don't interview people, right. right? So it's like, it's an interview style podcast. But the reason that it worked is because for me, like the number one problem that everyone tells me they have is they don't have enough leads. Sure. Right? I agree. Let me ask you something. It, I'll ask your people. Uh, if you were going to go and get in front of your high ticket, like a high ticket buyer, someone that's your sure. ideal customer, do you think you could just like call them up on the phone and be like, let me sell you? Not really. No, you couldn't. Yeah. Right? So like, I have to get in front of them in order for me to actually sell them or build a relationship right. with them, right? Right. But if I were to hit that person up and basically be like, hey, I have a show where I do right. X, right. and then they would like come to me, right? And then I could build a relationship with them, and then right. I could like offer to solve their problems back end. See how all sense. of a sudden I'm like, whoa, I can get in front of my ideal customer, Got it. solve their problem, right? You know what I'm That's saying? That's awesome. So the biggest breakthrough for me was, for me personally, was that my show was the most effective thing that I've ever done, and it solves the lead problem. Wow. The principle behind that is look at data, look at analytics, look at what's right. working and see the psychology of how that matches with your buyer. Got it. So are you scaling up the show? Oh yeah. We got lots of stuff planned. <laughs> yeah. Right. Me and Dan Thank Henry are doing a challenge together, man. It's going to be so much fun. See you. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. See you.